catch them joke at you guys again. I know it has been a minute, but hey, I was sitting at the house today and I said, man, let me get on here and show these people about this new technique I've learned, this powder paint. Um, I've been powder painting for long, but hey, you know, I'm just trying it out. I'm getting fairly good at it. I've been tying jigs for, hey, maybe two months now, but it ain't been long. But here's some of my hand tied jigs that I do. Maybe one of these days soon, man, you guys will make some requests. And hey, man, I may start selling them. Um, I tie these hand tied. They are my own jigs. These are 1 16th of an ounce. And I also have some 1 8th of an ounce jigs, which are these. Man, I got some new colors probably towards the end of this video. I'll be letting you guys see and check out. But um, here's the name of the um, powder paint that I use. It's called Jan's Knit Craft. You can buy it online. I get it from a um, local tackle shop in my area. It's pretty darn good. People's been telling me about um, about um, Pro Tech. I'm gonna try it out. Man, look, few little utensils I use. They simple. I just use a little small little whatever you may call this. It. it came with one of my jig tying kits to stir up my powder paint to make it real fluffy. Um, I also use a little cheap heat gun from Walmart. Probably cost you about 20 bucks. I got a little toaster oven. It'll cost you about 20 bucks as well. So you can get started with it fairly cheap. If I'm not mistaken, I think these these um, powder paints probably about $8.99, um, $10 a piece at the most. Depending on where you find me, sometimes you probably can find them a little cheaper. But hey, look, we're gonna get into it. Like I said, the most important thing to this is making sure that your your powder is fluffy. You don't want no clumps and lumps. And then so make sure you shake it and stir it up real good before you get to dipping. Hey, it's gonna get a little noisy with this heat gun. Just turn your heat gun on. I use I call these things hook removers. When you're fishing for proper brim, to get the hook out of their mouth and they kind of swallow a little bit. But I take it and I put it over the eye of the actual jig head to keep from paint getting in it. Plus it gives a good firm um, handle on it. And just, you don't need much heat, but you need some heat for it to heat up. If you leave too much heat on her, it's going to melt it. So what you do, you just put your heat on her. Take your quick little dip into your powder paint, knock off the excess, and I mean in seconds. You went in looking like this, you come out looking like that, nice and shiny. Now me personally, I throw a little extra heat on it before I take it off of, um, off of my own. Um, my little hook removers or whatever, I, I don't know the professional name for them. But like I said, they look real good when you get done with it. But it's still another process to this. It's called actually baking. And hey, you see in just a few seconds, I'm able to touch it. It hardens up, but it hardens up even more once you bake it. I didn't know how important the baking process was until I tried it. So it's a big difference. They will last like that, but if you truly want them to last, last, and I do mean over a period of time, <clears throat> just depending on you know, if you're a professional, perfectionist or not, you know, I will bake them. But be careful with your um, with your heat temps on your baking because the baking machines, they, they say, hey, it's one thing, but hey, I've come to find out that it's something totally different. But yeah, like I said, hey, you know, I just shake them up a little bit. I come right behind shaking it, stir it up real good. And like I said, it gets real fluffy. I just recently ordered me these things that I saw on on your line called, <clears throat> excuse me, these things I saw online called um, fluid beds. And you can take some of the powder paint, pour it into the fluid beds, and they run it on like a, um, I, I call it an air bubble, or like your your, your um, aquarium um, filtration things, pumps, and it runs air into it, and it makes the powder real, when I say real thin, and keeps it fluffed up real good for you and it turns out real good so I'll make a video soon about that once I order it but hey you see see how nice these are coming out hey 
I'm no professional at this. I just started this. But this is this is what you call day two powder drink. But one thing about it, when you do something, you should learn something from it. And I'm most definitely learning as I go. So, like I said, me personally, I like to run just a tad bit extra heat on mine when I get done, just a little bit. And hey, it hardens up fast, and I do mean fast, man. I mean fast. I let them sit. Have you something to hang them up on? It don't really matter what you find to hang them up on, just whatever is good for you. And see, and these are some of the ones that I did do yesterday. You can get one of each that I did. And, and and to me, you may not see the difference, but I feel the difference on them. You'll see on your on your outer coating of them the difference in it. Let me show you. These are some of the ones that I, I baked yesterday. Now I haven't gotten to pour my own jigs yet, but I will soon. And like I say, hey, I'm no professional at this, but it's just something I love. Now these are the ones that I, I did yesterday. As you see, I put a little too much access on some of them. That's why they got these little, little titties at the top of them. But this one I'm being real careful to make sure that my powder is real fluffy this time. And not over dipping it. Because a lot of times when you bake them, that's why I say you gotta find the right temperature. It says bake it. 350 degrees at 20 minutes, but I just truly think that the um, the ovens, they're not true to temp. So you may want to get your own temperature gauge of your own just to see what is it. And it may help you out. And um, I'll be back with you all soon because I want to show you something new that I saw on YouTube yesterday that I'm going to do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a little extra coloring on these jigs today. So we're going to two-tone these jigs. And make them look real good but hey like i said it go in one way and they come out another man it's amazing to me